गाइस वेलकम टू सी आर एंटी डिजाइनर्स चेतन ईयर इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टू मेक दिस हार्ड सरफेस मॉडल सो बिफोर मूविंग टू वट ट्यूटोरियल इफ यू डेंट सब्सक्राइब टू यूट्यूब चैनल दैन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्लीज टर्न ऑन दैट नोटिफिकेशन बेल अकाउंट सो यू वॉन्ट मिस एनी ट्यूटोरियल सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वी विल मेक दिस मॉडल विद द हेल्प ऑफ सिंपल सिलेंडर सो जस्ट एड अ सिलेंडर एंड वर्टेक्स शुड बी एट एंड चेंज इट टू द्राइंगल फैन then delete this words you can use the x-ray mode for that after deleting words just go to the top view and then insert this faces then one more time insert then select this edges and then extrude this edges and move them along the x axis and scale them along the x axis to make them straight then one more time extrude it and just fix it at its right position then select everything so if you extrude like this then you will face small problems so that's why we need to extrude in the this faces when they will be in the 2d form not in the 3d form so you can see so just go to the select everything and then extrude them there is also there is also one bug if you extrude like this then you can't scale them properly so that's why you need to do this manually so you can see something like this will happen so to avoid this just select this edges then extrude it like this and make sure distance should be proper from all sides so that's why scale them then along the y axis and now you can move the words so just move the words like this and then you need to select this edge and then extrude it and you will get something like this which looks pretty well now select everything and then extrude it and make it 3d give its volume then rotate it into the 90 degree and fix it at on the surface and now you can see just select this faces and we want to insert this means we want to extrude inside this faces so that's why just select this faces so you can see we are facing small problem here so that's why you need to select these faces also so select these faces and then extrude and then scale it down like this and now this is the proper shape give the proper amount for your scale and that's look fine then scale it along the y axis and then set the origin to the geometry and snap it to the 3d cursor then select this faces and use the simple extrude operation there to create a little bit of design on it so before that just insert and then extrude inside this faces then one more time insert it and then extrude inside this then you can one more time insert them you can scale them so just scale it down and then delete this faces then select this edges and you can use the bridge edge loop so first select the edges and then use the bridge edge loop and now that's fine then you need to add the loop cuts which will support the geometry and maintain its shade so just add a supporting loop cuts then select everything and mesh symmetrize 
and take the symmetry so you will get the same design to the another side of the mesh. After that just add a subdivision surface modifier and then increase its level. Turn on that cavity option. Now you can see it's look perfect. Now we need to add a few more loop cuts, support the loop cuts which will support the geometry. Now you can see it's look pretty well. Now we will try to add little bit more design on it. Add more design we need to edit the topology. So just before that just add loop cuts wherever it's necessary. Then select this words and connect vertex path because we are going to edit the topology so then we can add more design on this mesh easily so that's why you need to edit this topology then delete these edges like this and do the same thing to the other side to the bottom side and now you can see you will get the pretty good fillet shape at the corner Now you can see our mesh looks pretty well. Then we will try to add little bit design. So that's why you need to select these faces. And we will use the simple operations insert and extrude operations to make the more design on this mesh. So that's why just insert it. You can one more time insert it if it's necessary. It's totally depend on you which kind of design you want to create. So here I have tried different ways to get the different effect, different results with the geometry. So that's why then select the faces and extrude them out like this and give the proper amount for your extrusion. So now you can see we are creating simple design. Try to make the shape as simple as possible. Then add a supportive look because it's necessary. It's totally depend on you. How do you want to create a design? How do you want to make the shape of your object?
that's fine. It's look decent, pretty well. Just remove few loop cuts to get the good shape. Now our object looks pretty well. So now we will add little bit of different things on this object mesh so just select these faces and then one more time insert them this time just check that select outer option is there so check that select outer option you can try different options which are there in the insert tool so just i tried this different option but for the design you have to select the select outer option or otherwise you can select these faces manually after that and then extrude inside them don't give the more amount for the extrusion just give the small amount for the extrusion and now you can see the result of that extrusion extrude operation and which looks pretty well then just add a few bolts you can use the bolt factory add-on just to add more details on your mesh so it will looks more good decent Just choose the right bolt for your model. You can use your own custom bolts. Then just duplicate and fix them at their right position. And now you can see our mesh looks pretty well decent. Easily we have modeled this shape. Hard surface model. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.